I've recently had an opportunity to explore building Google chat apps or chatbots using Google Apps Scripts. The result was a currency converter chat app where users could use a slash command to type in a currency amount and a from and to currency code. Once entered, my chatbot would reply with the current currency conversion. If a user didn't know a currency code, they could use the slash xe dash list slash command to generate a list of currencies. In this short video, I'll cover some of the basics on how you can receive data from a Google Chat or Google Chat Space, ways to return that data back to the chat, some handy tools that Google has provided to get your project up and running quickly, some current limitations and gotchas that are experienced in my own process, along with some links and resources to get you started on your own project, all in Google Apps Scripts. Now, if you are new to chat apps and are curious about what they can do, check out my previous video. If you're looking for a hands-on tutorial to build a chat app, I recommend that you watch this video through to the end to get an idea of what you can build and then dive into the next video in the series where we build a basic chat app before creating our very own currency converter chat app. Before we begin, Google chat apps are available to Google Workspace customers and are not available on consumer at Gmail accounts at the time of recording this video. Okay, so let's dive in. Setting up a Google Apps Script project for Google Chat is a little different to what you might be used to with web apps, bound and standalone projects. I'll dive into this in detail in the walkthrough in the tutorial in the next part. However, the first step is to add a chat property to your Apps Script JSON manifest file. From there, we can use some inbuilt trigger functions to add a chat app to a space or a DM, remove a chat app from a space or DM, carry out an action when a message is sent. Fortunately, we don't need to set this up from scratch. The App Script team has provided a handy template sheet to get us started. To access it, we head to our script.google.com homepage, click on the Getting Started sidebar item, and then scroll down to the Chat Apps card and click to create your own pre-filled project. We then need to create a Google Cloud project and connect our App Script project to it. The last task we need to do in order to get things running is to add a chat app API to your project. Now when we create a new version of our deployment, the chat app will be updated with any changes to our code. It sounds like a bit of a chore, I know, but it really doesn't take long to get it all squared away and running. When you add a chat app to a direct message or Google space, it basically listens for responses to conversations and returns a JSON object of data about the most recent messages usually stored as an event. You can then use the data received from this object to read the message text or check, among other things, better data like the display name of the user sending the message, their email, their avatar URL, the time the message event occurred, or links added to the message. We can use the information in the return JSON event to run a programmatic action when a slash command is issued, when a link matching a predefined pattern is added to the message with preview links, when attachments are added to the message, or based on a set of predefined text. Once we have our event data, we utilize the full capacity of Apps Script to run Google classes and APIs, fetch and update external API data, store data, and manipulate it. We can then return the data directly as a message through chat, as a stylized card message, or as a pop-up dialog box that is private to the initiator of the dialog action and can be used to fill out basic form data. Cards and dialogs can contain much more styling than regular messages. Returning cards to the chat can be an attractive alternative to messages to get information across to a team in a space. Dialog pop-ups are predominantly used to complete tasks privately while still in a chat. Perhaps you need to fill out a private form, for example. Not all users need to see you fill out all parts of a form, or some of those elements of the form may need to be entered privately away from the rest of the team in the chat space. Chat dialogues are ideal for this task. Cards and dialogues are built and styled by generating a JSON file. If you have ever worked in card services, you may find the process similar here. Cards and dialogues can display images, links, simple formatted text, decorated text, headers, buttons, text inputs, separated sections, and dividers. These are all known as widgets. Not all widgets are currently available at the time of writing this. For example, the grid layout is not available in cards, and the date and time pickers are not available in the dialog boxes yet. Further, for dialogues to return a text message or card, we currently need to use a service account in app scripts, 
and run it the same way you would a Node.js project, which is currently a little cumbersome. However, it does seem that updates are on the way. Building dialogues and buttons from scratch can be a little tricky. Fortunately, the App Script team have provided an interactive builder for you. Again, at the time of writing this, the builder is using the depreciated version one of the card builder. But the JSON syntax is similar, and what you can't create with this tool, you might be able to build in the main card builder tool for car services and copy the JSON data across to your project. Button clicks are probably going to be your primary action execution with cards and dialogues. When a button is clicked, it can create more display cards, return a message, navigate to another dialog to continue the completion of a form, open a link, run background processes with an action method where you can add custom parameters or grab input data from the event parameter. You can learn more about chat apps by heading to Google's documentation. There you can find a number of guides specifically to help you build a chat app in Google Apps Scripts. You'll also find a number of example chat app builds along with a code lab. The Google Workspace Developers YouTube channel also has a great chat app series for you to explore. Check out the link in the description below to get access to these pages. So that's the basics of what you need to get started building chat apps with Google Apps Script. What sort of chat apps do you think you'd like to build? Do you have a particular project in mind? Do you think your company would benefit from chat apps? I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. In the next tutorial, we get hands-on and build our first chat app. You know, our Hello World equivalent. Then we'll start on our currency converter chat app project. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to get a reminder of when the next video comes out. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, click that like button. Until next time.